Welcome to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and in this video, I'm excited because our friends over at Blade HQ sent us a little care package. I thought it would be fun to see what's inside this mystery box, and that way you can get my first impressions of any of the gear that they sent over. Some of you may remember we had the opportunity to go out and film with them at their headquarters. I'll make sure to drop a link down below to those videos, and hopefully we can go back out there very soon and film some more fun cutlery content. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed and following us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's cut into it. As a knife guy, it's always exciting. Anytime you get a package, trying to figure out which knife you're gonna to use to open it. In this case, we're gonna use our designated package opener, the Civivi Clavi. All right, first thing out of the box, we have a Kershaw. I'm not gonna look at the labels, we're just gonna see if we can figure it out. Ooh. <laughs> All right, initial impressions on this. This has a really nice texture to what I believe are aluminum handle scales. The blade, when I first popped it open, was so freaking smooth. It almost like it wanted to fall into place into the lock. And I know the crossbar lock is super popular right now. And that is very, very smooth. Wow. It has a deep carry pocket clip on here with a large lanyard hole. I'm really digging that bronze and gray combination. A little bit of jimping, but not too aggressive. As you guys know, I'm also a lefty, so I'm already into this because of that crossbar lock. All right, let's see what else we got. Ooh, I see a Benchmade box. I see two Benchmade boxes. We got a nice tactical pouch there for any Molly webbing. And it also has a Molly loop in there, so you can strap that to a backpack, vest, thigh holster. With the access lock sticker. Dang, this is a big boy. Wowza. That is a chunk of steel right there. CPM crew wear too. Holy smokes, this thing is thick. This feels like a construction knife or something you can like rip into or a SWAT knife, something that you're not gonna break, that like you could pry open a door. I'm also a really big fan of this coating. I feel like it's gonna glide well through material yet provide a really good wear resistance, especially with that crew wear. Oh man, this thing has such a great feel to it. I like that a lot. All right, since we're on the Benchmade theme, we're gonna go back in for another Benchmade. I'm not gonna look at this one and get my first impressions. Oh, oh man, this is my first bug out. This is the aluminum bug out in M390, one of my favorite steels, Bastinelli knives uses it a lot but this is so smooth. I've never owned a bug out. I don't know why, especially as a lefty. I think Benchmade does a really good job with that crossbar lock. And I'm excited to check out that Kershaw, but this Benchmade is really nice. Oh man, does that feel so good. It feels really great in the hand. It feels like you're actually hanging on to a knife, but still ultra lightweight. That blade shape is one of the most versatile blade shapes that you could use. This is like everyday carry perfection right here. All right, there's more. Looks like there are two more boxes in here. One of them is very, very big. The other one will go with the small one. All right, let's see what we got. I know who sent this, I swear to God. This is the coveted and highly special Boker Mermaid Tactical Knife. I had no idea they made a blackout tactical version. And I've always clowned on this knife. I gotta be honest, the ergonomics on this are not bad. This thing feels pretty good. It's definitely a chunk of steel. You know it's gonna be in your pocket, but it's pretty beautiful, honestly. Pretty thick up towards the point, so I feel like you could carve with it. I don't know if it's intended to, but it definitely has a little bit of a recurve there on the edge, but overall, not bad, Boker. All right, we got one more in here. It has CRKT written all over it. This is the CRKT. HZ6. Oh, 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 oh yeah, baby. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so this is designed by Mr. James Williams. And if you don't know, he is a very accomplished and extremely talented martial artist in a wide variety of Japanese arts and honestly, all sorts of combative systems. And this is a tactical fixed blade if I've ever seen one. To me, this reminds me of like a tactical exacto blade. I mean, this is meant for piercing armor for just absolute destruction. I don't think this is meant for baking a cake. I'll say that right now, but this definitely uh, could, could serve you well in a personal protection situation. Oh 
my God. Yo, the balance on this, the feel of it, the handle. I think I remember hearing people saying that it was like too aggressive, like too grippy. But honestly, that's what you want. You don't want this thing flying out of your hand, especially because there's no guard here. Oh my, this is a thing of beauty. Holy smokes. All right, let's check out the sheath. This is not bad at all. I feel you could definitely slide this in, carry it cross draw, mount it a variety of different ways. I do like to see that it comes with some sort of a metal clip, almost like a discrete carry concepts clip. That's very interesting, but definitely a few more mounting points on there. We're gonna have to check that out. But overall with this knife, you have that thumb ramp, so you can deploy it quickly. Oh my gosh, I feel like you get some slashing in there, but definitely this thing is meant for penetration. Wow, wow, I love this. I have to give a super big thank you to all my friends over at Blade HQ, especially Brianne, Ben, Ben, Aaron, and George. Thank you guys so much for sending over these goodies. I'm excited to review them. And do me a favor, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything that you're more interested in seeing first. We're gonna try and bump that up on the schedule. So what are you excited to see? Please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe as that greatly helps grow the Tactical Tavern. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. Lastly, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get updates on gear giveaways ways, behind the scenes content, and fun videos you won't find here. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.